He then took our newspaper outside and showed us how qi can also be used to set things on fire. In a Chinatown of urban Java, he didn't want his real name or address revealed, so we called him DJ for Dynamo Jack. He was only a healer. It was nothing like any acupuncture I'd ever had. I was getting really powerful electric shocks and couldn't control my movements at all. In Yang, positive and negative, you know. Mm -hmm. And my positive from here and my negative from here. Mm -hmm. And we meet together, this can get uh, like electricity. And is this because you're special, you have a special sort of uh, no, it's meditation every day. It's meditation that does it. It's meditation every day. Like you can touch me, I like this. Me. It's nothing, okay? Mm. It's my burn. Uh, it's like this. <laughs> For our sound recordist, it was also a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is uh, Richard Cespedes, and uh, the clips that you saw was a demonstration of an individual called DJ that was, it, this is an old video uh, that I found um, these individuals recorded it I think in the late mid 70s something like that and um, this person DJ uh, was, a, was an Asian man that learned to harness uh, Qi energy and uh, I, f I saw this video and I was just blown away by it and uh, there was no manipulation, no tricks or nothing like that it was all from the himself, his energy from his body, allowed himself to burn the paper from the from uh, being able to harness the energy that exists within his body. The electrical impulse that you saw when he was chalking the people to treat them, um, those things exist within us. Um, the, to talk specifically, um, this video is about um, the explanation of chi and how to harness it. Now he says that he uh, does a lot of meditation. I believe that his meditation, and he says as ancient is a secret form of meditation, but I believe that it's just a uh, very basic meditation, just taken to another. It, it's basic, a basic meditation that all you need to do is just to become totally focused in the meditation, totally lost in the zone into your own meditation. Very stereotypical meditation, breathing in and out slowly slowing down the heart rate, slowing down your heartbeat, clearing the mind of thoughts, emptying your mind, learning to relax your muscles, sitting in uh, Indian uh, cross feet on the floor, you know, it, sitting Indian style. Um, what I think is that it is just a basic form of meditation that anyone can do, but just take into a deeper, uh, a lower, uh, deeper uh, soulful form and anyone can do it and uh, and uh, to describe Chi um, you saw him burning that paper with his hand and I think that um, in my in my theory which I think is correct is that uh, the body first of all the body does have heat in it we have heat signatures you can you can uh, record heat from the body with uh, specific uh, cameras that can uh, um, get the heat signatures from the body it's more hotter inside and it's cooler outside we all see it in movies and things like that. So the body's already giving off heat energy. That's how we live, you know. We're we're warm blooded. And so uh, electrical, I think that uh, the uh, uh, the electrical impulse that he was giving off was harnessed from the neurological. Um, uh, the neurons give off electrical uh, impulses to communicate and for us to live and to think and to, you know, uh, and to survive and. And to do things in a daily basis. So, um, what he is doing is that he's utilizing his chi. This is it. This is the thing he's doing: is that he's relaxing totally. He's relaxing himself, and he's harnessing his heat. He's harnessing and by he's harnessing his heat by relaxing his heart. When you're exercising, your heart rate goes up, and your and your body become becomes overheated because your blood's pumping and it's pumping in a certain velocity it's sending to the blood sending the blood through the veins and it creates you know uh, heat 
it creates more heat it, it, it's kind of like a form of a friction internal friction that's going on like a motor from a car it creates more friction it creates more heat and you're giving off heat and you're wasting your heat when you exercise and when the heart rate is raised you heat what comes out from the body from the mouth heat from the mouth and from the skin the pores and everything and from the top of the head the heat is being wasted through the body when you're active now the thing is though is that the, where the hardness it is to um relax your body and to relax your heart when you relax your heart your 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 body is able to encapsulate that heat the heat that's already inside the but the internal body is really hot inside this is one thing that uh is also describes in uh spontaneous uh, combustion it, uh, spontaneous combustion is just a sign of uh erratic uh um yin and yang um in fluctuations and causing the body to explode but by harnessing it you know it, it's very rare instances that happens but you're able to relax your heart and harness that you're able to relax your mind and harness the energy of the neurons electrical impulses that your brain does to to communicate with the body and and to harness it within your heart and harness because your electrical your brain's energy communicates with other neurons to communicate to send those impulses to flex your muscles and lift your arms up and down and you're wasting that energy as you're as you're being active you're lifting your hand when you're running you're moving your arms up and down real quick so you're wasting energy doing activities but when you're relaxed in a state of meditation you're harnessing and focusing when you saw DJ's eyes you saw the bags and circles that's complete focus of meditation constantly every day you know and like I said um, it's a it's a balance he says energy is below his torso which is I think that masturbation non masturbating not masturbating allows you because you're not dispersing your fluids you have to retain those fluids meditate and harness the heat you have to believe in the heat that's in you you have to imagine the heat within you and imagine the electrical energy within your hands imagine the electricity surging within you and the heat and you want to burn something you put your hand over something you have to imagine and feel the heat focusing all that energy and heat coming up from your hand you have to imagine your hand being hot 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 he's utilizing his imagination and his relaxed state of uh, meditation in a waking state to burn things and set things on fire he's shocking people he's imagining that he's sending that electrical excitement he's sending excitement through the hand electrical shock excitement he's imagining it and he's touching it and he's realizing it and it affects his reality okay so right here is a little clip of a child being held down by the mother um and she as you can see her hands are being she's pulling her hands back because she can feel the electrical impulses through the child and the child's crying right there that's an example of that he's imagining it and feeling it in his reality right there the guy's flicking flicking his arm right there his energy is coming right through his arm you can see that but he's flexing his energy through his arm that's how he's projecting chi from the palm of the hand can also be used to resist rifle pellets he says first you learn to distinguish between yin and yang chi in your body then how to pull it in your navel chakra then how to project it he of says. the healing of a three inch diameter bladder cancer inside the body of a woman who by medical western medical standards had been diagnosed inoperable she had gone as a last resort to a medicineless hospital in beijing china it was in this medicineless hospital where they began simply by addressing uh, the life affirming ways that she could change how she was living her life they taught her life affirming ways to breathe and life affirming ways to nourish her body gentle movements to stimulate the energy centers in her body and as she was doing these and strengthening her body this just goes to show that you're able to use this energy because the body what happens here is that uh, the body is able to um, repair itself through all of the internal workings of the of the energy that's occurring in the body heat and electrical energy impulses when the when the body gets scratched up bruised up it utilizes heat it utilizes the impulses it utilizes everything of the body everything that it is made of 
it utilizes its own self to heal itself. And when another person uses their own energy, like they're doing right here, their own uh, chi energy, they're transferring the energy to make this cancerous, right here in this situation, the cancer, the cancer be removed, totally removed. Because he's transferring all of that life energy. She is life energy. She is life energy because it's utilizing all the heat, all the thermal, all the electrical, uh, uh, the heartbeat, the life of the person to be transferred to the person right here is going to show as being reversed on the right side. And as they begin to, to have this feeling and to say these words among themselves, on the computer screen, on the television screen, we can watch in real time this cancerous tumor as it disappears in less than three minutes real time. It's not like time lapse on a documentary where you see a rose unfold uh, in 30 seconds and something that normally takes days. This literally happens in less than three minutes. Her body responded to the feelings of the practitioners who were trained to have the kinds of feelings that they were having. And all they were feeling was the feeling of what it feels like to be in the presence of a woman who is already healed, fully enabled, fully capacitated. They were not seeing her as a woman who was sick, and they weren't saying, bad cancer, you've got to go away.